Meet Fee is today's coaching video. My name is Jody Bunting and this is our live coaching session where our slimmers are going to try and lose a stone in the next six weeks. I'd like to introduce you all to Fee everyone. Woo! Yeah. Hi again, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. I think it's about three years, isn't it, since I've seen you? I know. Oh. I know. It's nice to be in touch again. So how have you been getting on? How did lockdown affect you? How's your journey been? Um, it's all come to a complete standstill. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> I've never weighed as much as I do at the moment. So I just feel that health-wise, I would like to lose quite a lot of weight. <laughs> so you put in your form, you'd like to lose two stone. That's your, yeah. your big challenge. Yes. And what is your biggest challenges in your daily life at the moment that's stopping this? Um, I would say alcohol. I do like a drink. Um, not, I don't drink ex excessively, but I would drink every day, say one glass of wine a day. Yeah. Um, and then more at the weekend. So I think that needs to come to a stop and maybe just have a drink at you know, on a Friday night or Saturday night, whatever. Um, and just not being organised, I think. Not organising my food and not eating breakfast. Don't eat breakfast. Okay. Have you heard of intermittent fasting before? Yes, but I don't know a lot about it. So basically, intermittent fasting is basically not having breakfast. And... Mm -hmm. Before uh, lockdown, I was a big fan of everybody having breakfast, um, but lockdown basically taught me that if you're not that active, actually missing out breakfast is quite a healthy thing because if your body is not using up your energy, it's a good mm -hmm. way to lose good good time for your body to use up its fat stores and actually not mm -hmm. have breakfast so unless you've got a really active morning I actually wouldn't recommend to have breakfast so that's not necessarily yeah. a bad thing okay fab that's good that's so really... that's a good start isn't it <laughs> yeah I can't be <laughs> just not <laughs> no <laughs> so let's talk alcohol is wine your thing mm -hmm. wine or lager but wine yeah Okay, yeah. so in the hierarchy of alcohol, uh, the best one is spirits. The next yeah. one down is wine, and then beer is really bad at the bottom here. So yeah. if you can stay on the the wine, that's much healthier, uh, especially when you're trying to lose weight than going on beer and stuff as well. Um, and then within Slim Brother or within our health loss uh, information, we like to have the 80-20 rule. So 80% of the time we eat healthy, 20% of the time we definitely have some treats in our life. So it sounds like for you, this is definitely going to be alcohol, some wine. Yeah. Uh, and it's up to you how you want to squeeze it in. Some people who like wine in particular have a small glass every day. Other people will have, say, I'm just going to drink twice a week, for instance, on a Friday and Saturday night. So yeah. whatever you know yourself best. So whatever you think is going to work for you, um, you know, I would definitely keep the alcohol in there because if you cut it out completely, uh, this is where, um, you know, you're just going to throw in the towel and stop everything. Yeah. yeah. And we do socialise. So I think, it, like you said, it's not going to be doable as such if I say I'm, I'm just not going to drink at all because it is part of our life going out and seeing friends etc so yeah, yeah absolutely and you've got to keep that into your healthy lifestyle as well yeah have you managed to download the my fitness pal app I have yes great and have you counted calories before um no I've done the points on weight watchers but not actual calories so the good news is my fitness pal the app is very similar to the ww app as in that you can scan foods um it gives you extra calories or extra points as it was then for exercise stuff like that yeah. so you'll feel, see the very similar things to it uh, the difference is obviously is just everything's got a calorie value um and it is um 
you have to kind of keep within that calorie. There's no free foods like WW, which was the mm. simple thing about Slimming World and WW is the fact that you can have the free foods that you can just have unlimited and not need to worry about tracking. So you do need to track everything initially, but once you get into it, uh, I promise you it will be uh, nice and easy. Yeah, yeah, it seems pretty simple so far. So yeah, it's good. Great. Um, and what do you think is going to be your biggest challenge over the next six weeks? Um, again, the alcohol, I sound like an alcoholic, I'm not, but probably I will, I'm determined that I need to lose this weight. So I've, I've got a dog, so I'm going to start walking more with him. Um, I've done it before, so I know I can do it. So I don't really know what the biggest challenge is going to be, to be honest. I think just sticking with it, basically. Yeah. OK, great. Well, as I said, I'm here to help you. So I'm going to coach you through the next six weeks. Uh, feel free to message me at any point. We've got our Facebook group. We've got our WhatsApp group. So hopefully all these things will just keep you motivated day in, day out. Uh, and as I said, the real key is just going to be keeping and knowing when you've got your treats coming as well. That's always the biggest mm -hmm. motivator. Great, Fee. Have you got any questions? No, I don't think I have. No. Fab. Right. That's it from me. We will meet okay, again thank you. next week. So get tracking. Thank you. Thank you. Bye for now. Bye. 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 Bye.